We were originally yeah, supposed to get home at midnight. It's, it's bar, four o'clock. It so as we're pulling up to the house, I noticed something really different, odd even. Just, let me just share with you guys. Day. We are leaving today, Disney Cruise Lines, but I can assure you we will be back with the family. So we are currently at Port Canaveral. Port Canaveral, Canaveral, Canaveral. Which is the coast of Florida, obviously. It's where a cruise ship would, you know, land. Oh shoot, we have to go downstairs. Our flights today are out of Orlando, which is more like central Florida. And we have a really, really long journey home. We have a really long layover and two pretty long flights. So we have a long day of travel today. But before we do all of that, in order to get from here to Orlando, I believe we are taking a bus. I'm pretty sure that's how we're doing it. Disney kind of set up our transportation for us. So we're just following what they tell us to do. So we are actually having breakfast in Arendale this morning. Goodbye, stateroom. 7644. I will never forget you, except I probably will forget that number. Finally know my way around the day that we leave. That's us. They give you luggage tags the night before that you get off the ship and the luggage tags have a character on them and then in the morning you can get off the ship as soon as your character is called. So we are Red Mickey and they just called us so as soon as we're done with breakfast that means we get to head out. Head on out and our flight doesn't leave until 4 p.m. Back on to land. We can turn this ship around all the way back home. Chasing all that we do not Chasing up. We got our luggage. We're on our way. Disney has transportation as soon as you get out of the port to go pretty much wherever you want. Not wherever you want, just like Disney parks or the airport. Our flight isn't until like four o'clock tonight and it's only 9 a.m. And I think it's like a 40 minute drive, so. The sun, missing all the birds. Do you think about me now and then? Anyway, we ended up I ended up changing my flight on the way to um, the airport because we had six hours and so I looked to see if there was anything available and there was something available. We're supposed to leave in an hour. Yeah, we wouldn't have even left yet. We just got home and it's a long travel. To go from California to Orlando from Sacramento is really hard because there's no direct flight. So if anyone from Sacramento airport was watching this video, any airlines, do your girl a favor and make a direct flight come from Sacramento. The nearest direct flight that we could get to Orlando, I think is San Francisco. And that's like two hours from us. So anyway, it's like a minimum, minimum of eight hour travel time minimum and that's if you get like good flights so the shortest flight time of the entire day I didn't know what time we were gonna be getting off the boat and stuff but on the way you know to the airport we're like 30 minutes away and there was a flight that left an hour and a half from that time that we were sitting on the bus and it was like a same day change and the cost was almost nothing so I booked it right away so we got there and pretty much immediately got on the airplane and had the smoothest ride home with two flights and we're home look we were originally yeah, supposed to get home at midnight. It's, it's bar, 4 o'clock, 4 p.m. We weren't supposed to leave yet at all. We were supposed to leave in an hour. Yeah, I think so. Oh, we are so happy to be home. Fourth of July is in a couple days. I don't know if we're we celebrating Fourth of July this year, guys. The recent events, maybe we'll have a party, but America doesn't really deserve to 
incorporated right now. But Fourth of July is coming up this week, and then also this week it's my grandma's funeral and her celebration of life and all this stuff. So we have a busy week coming up in the next few days. Does it say Sacramento? You guys, Lilia keeps me freaking. She keeps me under control. She always knows where we're going, what we're doing, what the direction is. Because I'm just like in La La Land, and she'll be like, "Mom, our turn was back there," and I'm like, "Shoot." What's up fam? So it is a few days later. It's actually the 4th of July today. I don't know how much I'm gonna vlog today. I don't know how much we are proud to be an American right now. I try not to get political on here, but we are getting dressed up. We're having like a little barbecue and we're going to do fireworks and stuff the usual tonight. We've been getting accustomed back to the time change, even though we weren't gone for that long, but we had a very chaotic, busy June, you know, just between traveling and then, you know, some, you know, family stuff, of course. We have been going nonstop, so the last couple days we've just been really chill but so we came home a couple days ago and we came home to a surprise I guess you could say something that I have never in my life seen before let me just share this with you guys really quickly because I'm so confused so as we're pulling up to the house I noticed something really different odd even you might say. Right next to our house, we have a huge like water conservation area. Like it's it's like owned by the city and there's never going to be a building there, right? It's just like this big grassy area where there's like some water down in there. Um, it like catches like the more it rains, like the more it fills up kind of thing. I don't even know what the correct word is for this, but there's nothing in there except, you know, I don't know, some lizards, some snakes maybe. Well, as we pulled up the other day, just, let me just share with you guys. Um, hi, sir. Oh my god, there's babies! Wait a minute, I didn't know they were there. What on planet Earth is going on? Why are there so many? This is not, okay, I know that there's places that, you know, they just, they have farm animals. This is not one of them, you guys. I, I don't know where they came from, but there's so many of them. Look at the babies nursing, oh my goodness. Oh my. Hashtag confused. Why are there tons of goats? Are those goats or sheep? Oh my gosh, I'm dumb. Both, both. Yeah, no, that's both. That's a definitely sheep. And that's a goat. My guess, my only guess is that, you know, this is very, um, kind of overgrown and I've heard of places that you can like hire someone to like bring their goats out to trim up the yard or like the the area like this is I guess a thing in our area someone said I'm hoping that's what this is and these little guys weren't just like dumped here but they've been here for the last couple days making their way around they started way on the other side over there made their way and today they are right here right next to us cross the borders of Morocco take a journey to Dubai giving me creeps. Let me see. Three. The boys <laughs> put black widows, one. black one. widow tattoos on them. And it is freaking me out. I keep oh, wanting to, creepy. Woo, woo, creepy. It's warm, huh? We are 
back into the swing of things. So it's been a busy past couple of days. My grandma's funeral was this morning. So there's just been so many emotions over the last few days. As you guys know, June was very busy for us. And now we don't have anything planned. Like we might go camp. We're thinking we might go camping this weekend. But other than that, we are now home. There's just been so much going on. So I am going to pick up this house for one. The kids are swimming, which by the way, oh my gosh. Addie yesterday learned to officially fully swim. Like fully, completely. Like she could already pretty much swim, but she is full blown fish as of yesterday. We gave her a pair of goggles. We got her a pair of goggles and she, something just clicked in her brain and she took off. She is obsessed. So let's see, she's like diving, not actually diving, but oh, she's in the hot tub right now. Sorry this vlog has been all over the place, but we're just getting adjusted to like being back home, things with the funeral, just so much. So we're getting back into the swing of things. Today actually feels like the real start of summer for me. If you have followed me for a while, I don't watch a whole lot of TV. I just, I can't find time for it. To be honest, I don't like sitting and watching a whole lot, but there's one show, one show that I will make time for. Every single year for the last 23 years, I've watched this and it's, it's a show called Big Brother. If you know, you know, and if you don't, it's probably not too late to get the season started. But the season airs today and every summer since I was like seven, I've watched this. It's kind of silly really. It's just like a bunch of house guests that like live in a house and they compete for money. I'm a huge Big Brother nerd. Um, and it starts today. And that, for anyone who's watched that, like that really marks the start of summer for you and it starts today. So it, there could not be a better day for it to get started just with how things have been this last like month and few days in particular. We just ordered pizza for tonight. The kids are swimming. I'm gonna clean up in here. We're gonna watch Big Brother. Big Caden does have his Taekwondo class. He's doing Taekwondo. I don't even think we've mentioned that, but he's been doing Taekwondo every single day for the last couple weeks. Chris is gonna take him in a little bit, but I just feel so refresh. Mango is living his best life. I just brought him out and he's basically a dog. Like when you pull him out, I set him out over here. He's wandered around here and now crawled over here and he's just hanging out and he's good. He's happy as long as Mango doesn't come near him. Did I say Mango? That Mowgli. He's fine as long as Mowgli doesn't come near him. This is so funny, okay? So funny. I don't even know what it is. I don't know. I'm sure they like have their own little language of animal talk, but Sadie likes him and he likes Sadie. As long as Mowgli doesn't come near him, he's happy. But for whatever reason, Reason. When Mowgli comes near him, he flips out. He, his beard gets huge and black and angry. And that's where bearded dragons get their name is because they have, you know, a beard under here. Hi. He also likes you to greet you. Hi. You went up? You wanna come up? He's so happy to be out. But if he gets upset, their beard, um, like underneath their chin, gets huge and big and black. And they get very upset. It's really hard to make him angry, but when he's angry or sad or anything, left out, anything, you know, he makes it known. I'm gonna bring, <laughs> he's so curious, he's so cute. I'm gonna bring him outside. Hi dude, you wanna come outside with me? Come here. Addie really wants to show off her moves, so we're gonna go hang out. Good job! I'm gonna get the 
gonna bring them with me. Okay. Okay, so. started with big brother i ended up getting in the pool with the kids and i i don't know what it is but i'm exhausted i forgot like i used to swim all summer long we had a pool growing up and i would just swim all summer and i just i swam for probably how long was i in that pool chris you think a few hours a couple hours i am tired but it was also like an emotionally long day too and physically long we had we had to get up for the funeral today at seven and we have been used to that their summer schedule and then we had the celebration of life following so it was a long day in general okay anyone who watches big brother who are you rooting for comment down below i don't know any of them yet so i feel like i don't know what about you who are you rooting for the girl next to the one that has the hat uh oh okay Alyssa. Yeah. i think that's her name i don't know how i know that i'm terrible at names who are you rooting for um i don't know it's too early i know off of like vibes let me think mm, i'm gonna regret this later on oh no what's the dude's name the ex-mormon i like him i don't know his name my sunburn from the cruise is starting to peel and it itches so bad oh that was like the top of my feet where itchy oh oh there you are yeah kisses Love you. Good night. Love you. Love you. Mm. Mm. Love you. Okay, yeah. you guys, off games, please. Okay, we're making our bedtime rounds, and I'm gonna go to sleep. I'm going to go to sleep. So that's it for today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a fantastic day. Sorry this video was all over the place. My life is currently all over the place. So that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for watching. <laughs> I hope you have a fantastic day. And we'll see you all in the next video. Bye. Bye.